Hi guys, welcome to season two of Ozfish TV. Welcome. How much fun did we have in season one? Mate, we had a ball, we had <laughs> fails, we had great times, we had donuts. Nice. 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 But we caught some good fish as well. We yeah. had a ball. Now, first of all, we'd like to acknowledge the uh, contribution of our previous producer, Ash, who did a really, really good job, but has now moved on to bigger and better things. We'd like to welcome a new producer, Nathan, who's behind the camera. Welcome, Nathan. Welcome, Nate. Good to have him on board. You are going to get very frustrated with all our bad oh, takes, mate. Oh, 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 mate, the jokes that you are going to hear will I hope you love disgust you. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, disgust you in a bad way, not a disgusted way. We're actually going to be fishing well, between bad jokes. No, just, just <laughs> fishing, no jokes, all seriousness. Excellent. This season, it's all going to be serious, I promise. I think his nose might be growing bigger when he says that. Look, we're going to be hitting all the local areas that you fish and um, all the uh, accessible areas that's affordable to you, the viewer. Fantastic. All right, well, here we are at the uh, Explore Australia show. Let's hear from the audience. <laughs> Today we're here at Explore Australia Expo. I've lost Chris. We're meant to be going around interviewing people and I can't find him. All right, I'm gonna go find him and then we're gonna go meet some people. I found him, he's over here with Ange. Gentlemen. Yeah, hey, look at what we got here. Fine as well. I thought I'd stick my head in. We've got the whole gang here. So boys, how are you uh, enjoying the show? Oh mate, it's been it's brilliant. It's been really good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, and i tell you what, one of the highlights for me has been me? working with the guys from oh. Fish TV. It's been oh, really good. good. <laughs> we'll really pay excited. you once the camera stops rolling. <laughs> now we're having a really good time here. It's um, very light-hearted. We're really enjoying ourselves. Yeah, we've really got a wonderful job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of family now. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, Absolutely. Who's asking? Hey, 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 who we got over there? Hey, Charlie, get oh, in here, mate. Guy. Charlie, what's going on for you, buddy? What's going on here? A typical mother's meeting. That is show. I love it. They're working out what, what time the freaking baby is. Exactly what we're doing. Family show here, and guys. Fantastic. Drinking coffee. Awesome. Let's keep moving. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go find some uh, more important people to speak to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, rude. See you shortly. That's lucky score, 1,537 to mix, 968. We've just run into our mate Tony from Tony's Tackle, who you've probably seen him, I've seen us use his gear a lot on the show. How are you, Tony? I'm excellent, and you're good song? to see you. Oh, very well, thank you. Now, how are you enjoying the uh, Explore Australia show? Quite good actually. Yeah, fantastic. A bit, a bit cold, but yeah, it is chilly in here, isn't it? It is. And a bit noisy. Yeah, that's because we've yeah, got monster trucks riding around out there and motorbikes just over there. Yeah, well, we're having a good time now. We're we? having a great time. It's been cool. Yeah, there is the occasional noise from a stage too, but yeah, we won't talk about A little about bit that. of that. That's now, right, Chris. having a look, I haven't seen a lot of Tony's products. Obviously, you've seen the nets and gaffs and bits and bobs we use on the show. If you have a look, he's got spearheads, which look a bit lethal. Obviously, different sorts of gaffs, tagging heads, 
Lady flickers. Yep. Paddle blades. He's got it all, hasn't he? And even now uh, rope gaffs. We do. We have flying gaffs of various sizes. Fantastic. Are you selling them here at the show? We are. Yeah, we're just sort of ticking through. Excellent. Beautiful Excellent. part is all these poles join together. So you make it as long as you like. And most of the time we need it because we're always on big piers. So. Absolutely. They, they do float. Yeah, we have found that out. Yeah, we, did <laughs> drop, we dropped one in the paddock. Yeah. We got it back. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We'll let Tony get back to it. Well, I found the boys from Catch and Cook. Here they are, Ron Smith. Michael DeMarco, how are you? Damo? How are you, mate? Good, buddy. Good, buddy. Mike, mate, so that's all right. That's all right, we having fun? We are, we're having the ball. About to go up on stage, so we I won't are. keep you. Yeah, you coming tomorrow, you're just here for the no, day? Just home. for today, yeah. yeah. Just for one day, got a family day tomorrow planned, so. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Yep. We, uh, we wanted to go fishing, but. We no. all wanted to go fishing, but we had to be here, but. It's not, we had to be here, we wanted to be here. How was that mako shot? Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, it was nice. It's, it's the first time I've ever had it. Although someone did promise me someone he got his mako not long ago. I didn't see any of that. Anyway, good luck on stage, Thanks, guys. Mate. Thanks very much. That's like not that. like you, but they work for hunting snapper, do they? That's well, I've seen, I've seen on Facebook he's been smashing some massive snapper. He has oh, been no. going well, haven't you? No, they don't call me the guru for nothing. Exactly right, mate. mate. So. Mornington Pier, this man is proof that land base does work. You put Absolutely. the hours in and you will get the fish yeah. later. Guru well, Glenn's when's fishing. it on? Tuesdays, Mornington, 98.7 98 FM on Mornington and 98.3 uh, Frankston, every Tuesday morning. Tune in, guys. Here. Guru Glenn, tune in and get your uh, land based information. So, we're here at the Capacity Sports Stand at the Explorer Australia show. Uh, here, having a bit of a chat to the guys about these fantastic kayaks. Yep. How good are they? Bits and pieces going on everywhere. Hey, Mick, I reckon we need to take a couple of these out and film yeah, the segment. Yeah, I think we need to go for What do you guys reckon? Are you going to come out with us? Yeah, yeah you'll come out. All right. Can you, can you dig people on these like a bike? Or? <laughs> Guys, get back to us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Well, guys, we're here at the stand with uh, Barry from Catch and Doug from Tony. How are we, guys? Yeah, good. Fantastic, Thanks very much. Great show. Show. Yeah, yeah, it has been a great show. Yeah, We've done really fantastic. well. I saw you get up on stage yesterday and start wooing the crowd, mate. Oh, I was a bit scared. A little bit scared there. Uh, a little bit timid, shy. No, you did well. Yeah, so, no, no, we've been up there uh, running a muck, so it's been good. So it's been a productive show for you guys? Yeah, it has been, yeah. You've just got to get the product out there and uh, you've got a good product and you don't have too much trouble. So, you have know, good sunglasses, good boat catch and... Uh I must say that, I can even see inside. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, well, I've been wearing them every day since I've been here as well. So I love and them. And I've uh, seen a lot of people around you wearing them too, yeah, mate. Yeah, so yeah. It can only be a good thing. It is amazing the amount of people that got behind Tonic and really support it. They love the product. Uh, you know, we even get the tradings from other people's classes and throw them in the bin. And well, it's funny, yeah. Doug like, was just, just telling me someone tried a pair of his sunnies on, took their old ones off, threw them straight in the bin, walked off on the new ones. Yeah, that's great. Right. You've got to love that. Yeah, it was awesome. All right, really guys, good. we'll move on and uh, get to the next stand. Well, I'm here with Rod, as in fishing Rod. How are you going, Rod? Yeah, good, mate. Cheers. Yeah. You've got uh, Squid Easy, an easy way of ca uh, cleaning your absolutely. squid. Absolutely. Everyone easy knows way. I love me squid fishing. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Now, uh, I've seen you up on stage demonstrating this stuff, yep. and I actually saw it about a year ago. I remember a winger shared your clip from YouTube. Yep. Yeah. And it was, um, yeah, I was just watching it going, mate, how easy is that? <laughs> it is. So, guys, he's got a good tutorial on YouTube. Get on there and have a look. Yeah. And uh, how are enjoying the show, mate? All right? Oh, it's terrific. Yeah, yeah. Good crowd in today and very responsive and uh, very supportive of the idea. You know, it's simple things sometimes in life are the best. Yeah, well, that's exactly right, yeah, mate. Exactly. All right, mate. Enjoy the show. Well, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. No worries. Awesome. Oh well, this is your this is your home ground, mate. <laughs> it is. So we're at the Balcom Creek. What we've decided to do, uh, yeah, Jesse's outfished us, and Mick and I've got a little bit angry, so we're dropping him off here. We're going to go down to Mount Martha Rocks, <laughs> see if we can. He didn't really outfish us. We're just sick of his jokes. We're not, we're not coming back for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. So what are you going to do, Danny, buddy? Um, chuck a few pippies in for brim and flick a lure around while I wait for bites. Excellent. All right. Well, we're going to head down to Mount Martha Rocks, which is about five minutes down the road. Sounds like a plan, mate. Let's get down there. Awesome. See you soon. Rightio, guys. We just dropped Jesse off. 
to catch some fish. Yeah, well, I hope he does. The brim, it actually looked like good conditions. I reckon the brim will be on down there. Well, there's been a bit of rain, so it should have stirred up the water a bit. Hey, poor Jess, it looked good down there, but I, I reckon we might have given him a second prize. Have a look at this. Chris and myself, we've been down here a few times. We've done all right, but we haven't really nailed it, have we? No, I think last time we were taking the mick out of each other more than we, we were actually fishing, we but were. it was good fun. But I reckon today we're going to redeem ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we'll throw a line in and see what happens. Very, very light drag. For one, I'm not going to be standing at this rod. I'm going to be down there for the lures. And for two, I don't want the brim to feel a thing when they pick the bait up. So, that's how we... Oh my god! <laughs> that was quick! <laughs> that's an example of how quickly you can hook up at times. I don't even think I'd stepped away from my rod. <laughs> Little Australian salmon. Oh, that's great. Hopefully there's a few brim around. <laughs> the rod we've got is um, a nice and long rod, and it's very, very flexible. There's another salmon. I think I'm sitting in the middle of a school. Very, very flexible rod. Allows the fish to take the take the hook, pull line, without feeling too much pressure. It's like a it's almost like a stealthy way of approaching bait fishing. So it allows the fish to really take the bait when you have clever fish like trout, brim, stuff like that. They take the bait, they don't feel the rod pulling against it, they don't spook, they grab it, they run, and you're on. I reckon this is the Hoff. Hey, hey Hoffy. Jeez, we only just dropped him off. He if he's caught me... something, that's it, he's, he's out. We're yeah. kicking him out. Well, we're just going to leave him there and go. <laughs> yeah. Hello, you haven't caught a fish yet, have you? We've only been here about a minute. I've already caught two. <laughs> <laughs> he caught two? What'd you catch? A couple of little salmon. You've only been there five minutes, mate. That's all right. There's no time limit on fishing. What do you got? Two salmon. Ah. You're meant to be catching brim, not salmon. <laughs> catch whatever I can. How are you going down there? All right, mate, well, I've got to rig up my rod because I snapped my line at the last place, so, and I want to get down onto these rocks and start fishing. All right. So fish it hard, mate, and we'll, uh, I'll give you a call a bit later on. I will do. i got bites right now, so i better hang up. All right, mate. See ya. Hey guys, who reckons I can cast onto that boat? Watch this. Good one, nice one. Banjo shark, <laughs> just like I thought. Unfortunately, they're a very common bycatch down here. I'm just gonna. Take my hook out because it's a circle hook and put him back in the water. I think Jeff, Jesse's definitely one up on us getting some salmon. What we've got is this little guy. All right, time to go back, pal. Off like a rocket. All right, well, it's better than nothing. Alright guys, so we've just arrived down here at Mount Martha Rocks and uh, we noticed a bit of a pool of blood on the ground. Um, looking around, we noticed down there someone's killed a, a stingray, probably the, the width of my arm span, a big, big thing. Um, one of the things to do, if you do catch a stingray or any other bycatch, if you don't want to get near it, just cut your line because the hook will rust out in a couple of days. Please don't kill it, it's all part of the um, ecosystem and it all belongs in the ocean. Anyway, that's my two cents. Only a little guy, but they fight so well for their size. They're very, very smart fish. So, um, the 
the way I've rigged, as you can see, is just a bull sinker straight to the hook. 22.5 centimetres. They've got to be 20, 28 centimetres, sorry. But I don't keep rim. It takes them so long to get to, to get large. When they're probably about 30 centimetres, they're getting close to you know, 15 years old. It's just not worth killing a fish for one meal and then that's the end of it. Get into this little cove, I suppose you could call it here. The reason for that is because we've got straight access to all these pylons, which is what the brim is sitting and feeding on. So what, we, what we've done is we positioned our bait right on that pylon. The brim takes it, we've got that nice long rod there. So we can get pulling action on all different angles if it tries to wrap me around the pylons. Very um take a look at the teeth. There's not many not many sharp ones there, and the reason for that is because he's feeding on these pylons. Crushing shells, crabs, all those kind of hard surface things. Really tend to flatten those teeth out. And you see the fish feeders, the 30 to 40 centimetre ones that feed on the fish, quite often they've got actually quite sharp teeth. Alright, there concludes another Port Phillip Bay Donut Fest. Go on, lay it on me. Yeah mate, it's the uh, <laughs> the big bowl of nothing. Yeah, we've had one of those days, but what did we see mate? The scenery's beautiful. It we was. saw some dolphins flapping around and yeah, it was alright. Well, you got yourself a banjo. <laughs> Yeah right, I did. We well look, look, looks, we like, looks like the Hoff's done alright down yeah, at Balcom Creek, so like he's, he's won the day, but that's alright. We'll, uh, we'll go pick him up. So, do we have to? No, we could leave him there. Sure. I did say I would. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, just go, we'll go back to packing them. Nah, we've had a bit of fun. It's been good. Uh, we'll catch up with you guys soon. See you guys. See ya. Hi guys, today's tip is just a simple one, it's just on squid jig colour. I get so many people asking me, oh what colours do I use and, and all that. It doesn't matter, have a nice variety of different colours. Have some red ones, have some pink ones, have some white ones, have some black ones. Mix them up, use them for 5 or 10 minutes, if you're not getting a hit, try a different colour. And rotate your colours, so the one you start on, will be the one you end up finishing on. It's as simple as that. And get out there and catch one. If anyone's got any questions or tips they'd like answered, Go to our website, ozfishtv.com, or flick us a message on Facebook. Radio guys, I'll see you next time. Hi guys, welcome to Ozfish TV. We've got a couple of customers that come down the shop quite often. We've got Mick and Steve. They're gonna come down to Stockyard Point with me tonight. Now a lot of you guys might know where Stockyard Point is. It's called uh, Jam Jura. It's a very, very long walk. And uh, we're gonna tough it out tonight and walk all the way down there and uh, throw a few lines in for gummy, elephant, snapper, toadfish. Toadfish sound alright? Let's see how we go. Yeah, toadfish. But, um, so we're going to head down now, I've got Jesse behind the camera, and we'll see you down on the beach. So we're on our way down to Stockyard Point. Now Stockyard Point is just down the South, uh, South Gippsland Highway, um, not far from Lang Lang actually. So yeah, that's, uh, you turn off at the Jam Jarup sign, it's on the right hand side, you go all the way down, you turn left once you get to the T intersection, and then you take that all the way down to the beach, and there's a track that you can walk down that goes for about kilometre and a half I believe, give or take, and it's quite a long walk. So that's where we're going to head down there tonight. We've got some uh, nice fresh gotcha squid, pilchard, and um, yeah, that's sort of the bait of choice down there, pilchard and squid. So we'll head down there, make the big long walk down, 
and uh, hopefully we have a big nice long walk back with a fish. Alrighty guys, we're down here now. Mick and Steve are just getting their tackle out of the car. Me and Jesse are ready to go. And uh, we're gonna start our long journey down the inner stockyard point. Just uh, hooked into something. It's not really giving me much fight. Hooray. Oh. Let's try and get that out. Come straight out. Little gummy. Oh, man. Little banjo. Oh. That's the tiniest banjo ever. <laughs> 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 Bring you up, Jesse. It's um, it's quite an effort, I must admit. Sending him back to the nursery, buddy. Is the uh, adrenaline pumping? You you are you like to jump out of planes for fun. <laughs> now tell me, this life experience of this banjo shark, what was better? Jumping out of a plane or catching that little guy? Catching that little guy. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, jumping out of a plane is um, got nothing on that. <laughs> Tonight, it's a gummy moon. Beautiful. Good run on him. You know, not to walk too far out there, mate, because yeah. you'll sink. That, uh, that took off pretty hard, didn't it? Yeah. Walk backwards, Jesse. Walk backwards. Jesse's done it again, eh? Cool. Single hook, squid tentacle. Yeah. Our favourite. Yeah, and two squid tentacles are what I always use, and they seem to always get these half decent sized gummies. A fair bit of a fight, Jimmy. Oh. Hold him, mate. Hold him. Where are those little girly <laughs> muscles of yours? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go, mate. Well done, Jesse. It's a very strong gummy. Compared to a lot of gummies I've caught, he's not giving up. I'm just glad your rod was in that rod holder nice and tight, yeah. mate. <laughs> See, people, this is what the uh, walk down the stockyard can produce. But a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people oh. travel all the way from around Melbourne to come down here because they, they, they know you can get nice, beautiful fish like they go this. For this. Now, one thing I'd like to tell viewers, I see on Facebook all the time, sharks cut the back of the head all the time. You don't need to cut them in the back of the head. You, you cut them right there in the throat. Straight down and straight across. You should always knock them out first. It's a lot more humane, isn't it, Jess? It sure is. Yeah. You don't want to be hurting fish when they're alive. No. Well, as you just saw, you got a gummy. Yay! We stayed there for another hour or so after that, but we didn't really get much more. But it was a good night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. A bit of fun. We always have fun. We always get good fish. That's what it's all about, isn't it? No, we don't. We don't always get good fish, but we, we try. try to. We always try. We try. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go out fishing tonight, aren't we? Do the hard yards again. Yeah. That's what land based is all about. Yeah, that's it. Got to put in the hours as we always do. I uh, I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Stockyard Point. Get down there and get yourself a fish. This week the winner is Nixon Westthorpe. Uh, Nixon sent in a good photo of him. He caught a snapper, 76 centimetres long was his PB, so well done. He caught that on squid. Well done, Nixon. Uh, what we're sending you out is an Ozfish TV Season 1 DVD. So that's in the mail coming to you. Um, so well done on sending us in a photo and we encourage everyone else to send in photos as well of their, their PB fish or anything just extra special. So send those in and you'll get a free copy as well. Thanks.